Yo, what it is, man? Thuggle on Marco, AK Triple Seven. Today I got a video for y'all, uh, and the video topic is gonna be about semen retention and my 200-day experience. So before I start this video off, I want to send love, light, and positivity to everyone who's watching this video. I hope everyone's having a very safe and wonderful and blessed day. So, man, very crazy, very crazy that I'm making this video. Uh, this journey was a. Uh, it's very interesting, man. A lot of lessons, a lot of ups and downs on this journey, man. But we're going to talk about my experience and some of the benefits. Currently, I'm outside in nature. You know, I'm getting some sunlight. I'm about to drop this video for y'all. So, um, so far, I can honestly say the benefits, some of the benefits I'll go over. Um, an in increase in eye contact, you know what I'm saying? I've noticed that uh, you can look people more in their eyes because the eyes is the windows to the soul. So, very, very, very strong eye contact, especially around um, males and females. I'm, I'm able to look people in their eyes. Uh, one, another benefit I notice is when you actually embark on this journey of uh, holding on to your uh, sexual energy, you realize something that this is more than just, <laughs> it ain't about the women attraction or none of that, you feel me? This shit is, it's deeper, it's bigger than anything you can ever imagine, you feel me? But this journey ain't for everyone. This shit is for the gods and the goddesses, the kings and queens, you feel me? This ain't for everybody. But uh, I, I noticed on this journey, man, you gonna, once you hit about 30, 30 days, you see you, you in that battlefield now, you feel me? <laughs> You gotta have spiritual knowledge um, to make it through this shit because you're gonna have a lot of uh, dark entities trying to fuck with you, you feel me? But they can't fuck with you unless you get put on the frequency they're at, you feel me? So that's why holding on to your energy is very important because it connects you to your light body, which is uh, in the uh, ether or the spiritual realm, you feel me? Right now, this is a this is just a vehicle for my spirit. This, is a, this third dimension is a less dense reality of the 4D. Everything happens up there before it happens down there, down here. As above, so below. So, uh, yeah, the eye contact is gonna be extremely crazy. In their eyes, and uh, people who are weak spiritually won't be able to look you in their eyes. Like, if they're trying to hide something, they'll probably have shades on to hide from the wicked and negative energy because they don't want you to see them for who they are. So, the eyes are the window to the soul. Another thing, in this reality, the demons cannot look you in your eyes at all. Basically, you're so powerful to the point if you look at somebody who is wicked, who's wicked within their spirit or have a demonic entity attached to them, if you was to look them into their eyes, you could potentially burn them. <laughs> For real, you could potentially burn them. You could burn off their energy, burn off that uh, dark shit they got on them, and you could hurt them by just standing them into your, uh, standing them into their eyes because the eyes are the windows to the soul. Your eyes, a person's eyes can tell, can tell a whole story about who they are. Real shit, so uh, that's one of the benefits a lot of eye contact um another benefit i got from it is i got a lot of energy you know what i'm saying i got a lot of energy within me uh i noticed that uh the urges they they uh they kick in after a while like <laughs> but it's it's a it's a disciplinary action to to take you feel me you're disciplining yourself you feel me but uh, the urges is crazy, but I got a, you got a lot of energy. So basically with the energy that I've been holding in, I just put it towards my workouts or I put it towards my like purpose and shit. Like, you feel me? My purpose is YouTube. My purpose is helping people. So I'm gonna put all my energy into things that's gonna help me in the long run. So basically when you build up this energy within you, you're able to transmute it. Sexual transmutation is real. And um, yeah, I do a lot of push-ups whenever I get urges. Or I take cold showers sometimes, but I'm at this point where it's like I could go forever, forever without busting a nut, none of that shit. You feel me? It doesn't excite me anymore. That's not what this journey is about. This journey is about conquering ourselves and uh, becoming our greatest version. So, uh, yeah, the um, other benefits I got from this experience: the women attraction is crazy. Now, what what I come to notice about holding on to your sexual energy is everything in life flows easier everything comes to you naturally easier because you're on a high vibration the higher your vibration the higher vibration means more positivity more abundance more life to come into your life you feel me 
when you're at a low vibration, you attract low vibrational stuff, like a lot of negative things that can happen to you, etc. So, I noticed the women attraction, and I'm gonna talk about the women attraction because you know niggas wanna hear about the women attraction. But the women attraction is very real. But what you fail to realize is you people just can't hop on this shit and just think, oh, I'm gonna just stop being my meat and stop watching porn, this and that, and think that they just gonna attract women. Nah, what you're supposed to do is you have to put in the work. You feel me? You have to put in the work. So me personally, uh, I noticed after I started to uh, work out and get in the gym and uh, build my body up, you feel me? I started to notice, I started to get a lot of women attraction, like older women. I'm talking about like 22, 24, 25 type shit, you know, trying to come talk to me. I be at the gym sometimes. I get a lot of choosing signals now, you know what I'm saying? A lot of that kind of good stuff, you know what I'm saying? You have to put in the work, though. You can't just be one of them niggas who just sit at home and do nothing, you feel me? Because your energy, you feel me? You have to do something with it, because if not, you're going to go back to your old habits and the goal of this is to form new habits because self-improvement is an infinite loop you can always keep going up you can always keep expanding your mind growing gaining knowledge knowledge and self-improvement it never stops you know what i'm saying so uh that's another benefit another benefit i got on this journey the respect is real the respect is real it's real and you know what you deserve all the respect for embarking on this journey because not everybody can do what you're doing if you're one of those people who's on this journey like me you feel me not everybody can do what you're doing so i learned it i learned that the respect is real you feel me you got to realize as a man your most strongest energy is your sexual energy that's your most potent energy your most potent energy in this whole world this shit is infinite it's infinite you have infinite energy within you but you have to let it build up. You feel me? You have to let let it let that uh shit fuel your soul, ignite your spirit. You feel me? You have to let it build up. So what I notice is uh, 30 days to 50 to 60 days, the respect started to kick in. It started to kick in. That's because you giving off that uh masculine energy about yourself. You feel me? You not draining yourself. You feel me? You're not draining yourself. When you're draining yourself constantly and you're watching porn, you're putting fear within you. That's why when you, you try to approach women, all types of shit, you be nervous and scared for no reason. You feel me? So the respect is real. A lot of people are, uh, I've had situations where I'll be walking and a, a nigga would just uh, open the door for me. You feel me? I done had situations where my energy is so strong. I be in the gym working out. But I'll put the weight down. I'll just be standing by the weights. A motherfucker will be like, hey, uh, I could use that. Like, they'll ask me. They won't just take it. You feel me? So the respect is real. The respect is very, very real. That's another benefit. Another benefit I'd say I got from this experience is mentally, physically, and spiritually, I became elite. Now, I just want to point out, man. So when you embark on this journey, right? What you're doing is you are letting all this energy build up within you and this is the energy you need to do all the spiritual practices. Without this energy, you can't meditate. <laughs> you can't raise your level of consciousness. You feel me? You can't really grow for real because this is your life force energy. This is your life force. You need this. This is your life force that makes you who you are. You feel me? You need all this energy within you to rise up through all your chakras. You feel me? When I had a spiritual awakening, I didn't even know, like, uh, you feel me? I ain't even know about the chakras, but I was having a spiritual awakening. You feel me? I had to learn that shit, too, that you need this energy to do anything in this life. And, you know, we could do more than this, but we still trapped in these uh, bodies. You feel me? So it's only so much we could do. This ain't even half of what we could do if we was who we truly are. You feel me? So you need this energy, man. So... What uh, I come to realize is the energy that you have within you, it unlocks all your chakras. Boom. Root, sacral, solar plexus, plexus, my bad. Heart, throat, third eye, crown. The crown chakra is the, is the it's not really a chakra, but it's a chakra that opens you up like a flower to, for energy to come through you from the universe. 
that's what the uh, crown chakra is so basically man yeah that's an, another benefit and uh another benefit i want to say oh my bad scratch that mentally i became elite i have uh realized that i'm not really easily swayed by people anymore like i, I stopped giving a fuck about the materialistic shit I stopped worrying about a lot of just third dimensional shit. Like, it is, I come to realize it's not that important. You start prioritizing what's important in your life. You feel me? Your purpose is more important than anything. All this materialistic shit is just for the ego. It doesn't matter. Uh, I became more mature because I've come to realize that everything isn't about, like, um, like chasing females and all that. That shit doesn't matter. You feel me? Sex is not even on my mind anymore because I'm on my purpose. So that's one of the other benefits that come with that. And semen retention will get you on your purpose, but you have to be able to, you gotta want it, bro. You have to want it. You can't just hop on this shit, you feel me? You gotta wanna do it, bro. You gotta wanna elevate. You gotta wanna change your life. You wanna better yourself, my nigga. This shit ain't for the weak. When you enter into this shit, when you start doing this shit, this shit is a war zone. Because when you, when you build up all this energy within you and you build up all this light, it sends a signal to the ether. And everyone can see you. All the demonic entities, all the dark forces, they can see you. But they can't fuck with you because you're connected. You feel me? You're connected. So they can't even fuck with you for real. You feel me? They only can use psychological warfare tactics. Because if they was to try to fuck with you right now, while your energy is vibrating so high, look at this helicopter. Because <laughs> if your energy was vibrating so high, they would, they would, they can't touch you. They would, they would get killed, literally. You have a spirit up there, the bigger you. This is a smaller version of you. This ain't even really you. So, yeah, they can't even fuck with you. You feel me? You gotta have crystals, you know what I'm saying? You don't have that much protection. Everything is spiritual. Now, right now, my spirit in the spirit realm, that nigga strong as fuck. Nobody can fuck with him up there. I have to make an effort down here to keep doing everything I gotta do, eat healthy, work out, etc. Do everything I can, meditate, so my spirit can be strong up there. Exactly. So everything is 100% spiritual. So what the de uh, what the de my bad what the demons do is they do psychological tactics to try to fuck with you because they can't fuck with you physically because you embody too much light you embody it too much it's too much light they can't handle that shit if they run up on you they gonna get their ass killed or beat up you feel me they can't run up on you like that they have to break you down psychologically or try to instill fear within you to lower your vibration to their level because you too high up everything is spiritual if it can't happen up there it won't happen down here as above so below so if they physically try to impose some shit upon you they automatically will lose that's why it's called spiritual warfare sometimes it can be physical but 90 percent of the time it's psychological and that's the cold truth but uh on this 200 day experience you know i've been rambling a lot in this video but this is just a quick video for y'all man you feel me but on this 200 day experience oh and this is a lifestyle i don't count the days i don't plan on stopping until I fulfilled my purpose completely, you know what I'm saying? I don't care about none of the other shit. I just wanna do what I came here to do. I don't care about nothing else. I just, and eventually, I'm going to relapse, eventually. But right now, it's not necessary. I don't even care. I could go the rest of my life at this point. I'm gonna keep it a boat with you. <laughs> Real shit, I'm not even tripping about that shit no more. Like, it's become natural in my life, you know what I'm saying? Mentally, physically, and spiritually, I became elite. So, you know, a lot of positive benefits, you know what I'm saying? The women attraction is good, but I don't care about the women because if the women ain't, if the women ain't spiritual, it don't matter. Oh, and I, before I end this video, I just want to tell y'all some shit. If you get on this journey, you're going to have a lot of uh, succubus entities trying to uh, steal your energy and your dreams. You feel me? On the first 30 days, 
I got a demonic attack in my sleep. I thought I had, you know, in the beginning stages when you embark on this journey, because a lot of people don't have wet dreams anymore because they constantly drain themselves. You feel me? They drain themselves so they don't even know what a wet dream feels like. So basically, what's going on, what happened to me is when I was sleeping, 30, first 30 days, first 30 days, I instantly got attacked. Instantly got attacked. I'm talking about I was asleep. I had a dream. I was fucking some female from my past. I ain't gonna say a name though. But it wasn't her though. But the dream, what these what these entities do, the shit's so real, like you really be fucking, but you ain't fucking who you think you fucking. You fucking a demon. You feel me? And in a dream, I was like, damn. So when I woke up, I just like I checked my pants. I had some that was my first time having a wet dream. So I checked my pants, I'm like, damn. I was mad as fuck. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I was mad as fuck. I can't flag. I was angry as hell, dude. I was mad as fuck. But then I started to do my research on like, you know what I'm saying? And people on this journey like me, they was like, nah, it doesn't count as a relapse. So you can one of the main things that like one of the main reasons people be having like sucky bitches attack them in their dreams, that's because what are you watching these are your gates your eye gate your nose not your nose gate your eye gate your mouth gate your hearing gate what do you listen to every day what do you watch every day you feel me because everything is a portal if you fuck around and watch some tv and it's uh like say the uh the tv show is very promiscuous now look that's playing in your subconscious mind and the, the succubus entity can see that so this she then she can enter your dream state and play tricks on you you feel me? That's why it's important to watch and pay attention to what you're listening to on a regular basis. Because when you are, when you're listening and what you listen to and what you're watching and what you're eating is very important. That's why when you eat snacks and stuff like that, we got to remember, this is a vessel for your spirit. Everything is spiritual. When you leave your consciousness trap, your consciousness, my bad, travels through different dimensions. That's what dreams are. And your body is a vessel for your spirit. So when you're eating food that is like not natural and nobody eats perfect, but you don't want to be eating too much snacks. Now, let me explain this to you. When you are eating food that like candy, brownies, shit like that, sweets, you are in the spiritual realm. There are entities that can fuck with you and get to you because your vessel this is your vessel that's why it's important you take care of this vehicle for your spirit because you are a spirit in a body this ain't you this ain't you so when you're eating these low vibrational foods with no energy just sweets you are attracting archons archons are entities that feed off like sugars and stuff like that you feel me they but when you eat like candies like sugars and shit archons can hack your shit that's what sweet sleep pa sleep paralysis comes in you feel me this is a literally this body is just a vehicle everything is spiritual everything nothing is bro everything you're seeing right now is just a slower manifestation of the astral realm or the fourth dimension that's all that is so that's why it's important you be careful you gotta be careful what you watch every day what kind of music you listen to the music that these rappers be pointing out about fucking bitches and shit like that that shit plays in your subconscious mind and then what happened is what could fuck around and happen is when you fall asleep because you was listening to all these rappers who were uh, promoting sex and shit like that you don't get it it's a bro it's g shit a battle out here for real <laughs> for real <laughs> it's dead ass a battle out here so when you listening to these artists and shit who uh playing this uh promiscuous music and shit and there's nothing wrong with sex just make sure you having sex with somebody who's on the same path who's on the same frequency vibration as you because if not she gonna deplete your energy and if she was a bot or unconscious and she still think about dirt dimensional shit she still care about instagram guess what you instead of going up you gonna go down with her ass and she gonna steal your energy and she gonna get a little boost so that's why this shit is not even about sex it's not about none of that it's not about any of those type of things, man. You feel me? But yeah, man, so just be careful what you eating. Be careful what you watching. Your body is a vehicle for your spirit. And yeah, once you embark on this journey, you're going to realize how much, like, you're going to realize, like, this shit is a battlefield. You feel me? 
these entities want to steal your light. They want to take you. They want to take you out. They want to take your shine, my nigga. But you can't let them. That's why they say God gave us will. He gave us free will. Yeah. They gave. He gave you free will. You feel me? You know when you uh somebody asks you, do you want cake? Or somebody asks you if you want uh candy? Remember, they ain't make you eat it. You willingly did it to yourself. You gotta remember that. So you know, just be be mindful of the things you eat. Be mindful of the things you watch, and uh, be mindful of the things that you uh you hear. Listen to positive music. You guys, you got a, you got a lot of artists out here who make positive music who not rapping about sex because sex is not important. Sex is like it's sexual energy exchange. That's all that shit is. That's all it is. It's just sexual energy exchange, and that's why it's important you you uh, have sex with someone who's on the same path as you simple it's nothing wrong with it i'm not against it sex is amazing sex is beautiful you feel me it's that's why in the bible it tell you like uh it tell you to wait until marriage until y'all married to do it because the people who made the bible understood that sex is very spiritual it's spiritual it's not even like a, a thing that you should just be you feel me with anyone and also i want to put y'all boys on game for all you niggas who like to chase hoes and not even chase hoes, for all you niggas who like to always like want to just fuck all the hoes, bro, that shit looks mad unattractive, bro. Real shit. It's mad like females look at you like, you feel me? That's what I learned on this journey. A bitch can't even get a hug for energy off. For real. It's on it's it's uh it's very unattractive for uh when you are always in a female face, when you always trying to fuck all these hoes, niggas who think they fuck all these, who, who fucking all these hoes think they the shit, you not the shit, bro. A female look at you and be like, yeah, he got no standards. You feel me? Real shit. So you don't want to be that nigga who just fuck all these hoes, bro. For real, these females don't want a nigga who just fucking all these hoes. But a female also don't want a nigga who don't just got, who, who got hoes, but he ain't fucking all of them. You feel me? <laughs> so yeah, man. But anyways, you know. Shit, my experience on this shit was crazy. You know what I'm saying? What else can I talk about? What else can I put y'all on game about? But, uh, yeah, that's about it, really. You feel what I'm saying? Just a little little video, you feel me, about my experience on semen retention. Oh, hold up. On this journey, you're going to have a lot of haters. I had a lot of haters, you feel me? Because everybody can't do what you're doing. They lack the DNA, you feel me? They lack the DNA. They can't do what you're doing. So you're going to have a lot of people who who hate on you. But if you ain't got no haters, you ain't doing nothing right, man, for sure. But on my path, I realized I had a lot of haters because I'm just progressing so fast. I'm progressing too quick for niggas. Niggas can't, niggas can't keep up. So what niggas will try to do is they'll try to bring you down and chop you down and try to stop you. But you... You are more powerful than you ever imagined. And I want you to know that. Real shit. But, um, you know, that's my benefits and experience. You know, I did ramble a lot in this video. That's because, like, it's so much that's, like, you feel me? You could talk about on this journey. I will make more videos upcoming in the future about semen retention and no fat. Me, personally, this is a lifestyle. I don't count the days, but I'm like, why not? Shit, I'm on 200 something days. I recently, yesterday, counted how much days it was. But I don't plan on stopping. I'm going to keep going. I ain't going to stop until I fulfill my purpose. Eventually, there is a divine part. My bad. A divine partner out there for me to have. Until then, I'm going to keep building up my energy. I'm going to keep building up my mental game. I'm going to keep strengthening my spirit. You feel me? And yeah, mentally, physically, and spiritually, we elite. Hold on. I got to show y'all this shit. You feel me? Yeah, we out you. But anyways, you know, thug along, Marco. I'm out. I love y'all. <laughs>